Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Chris KD2TFJ, and um, I haven't done a video in a little while because of how things is going out here when it comes to COVID. Um, I have a lot of new things going on right now, so I did want to show my um, update on what I have um, accumulated over the past few months. Um, so, one thing everybody did know, if you follow me on my um, channel is I did um, get myself um, the Anytone um, 578, which is the mobile device, which is in my car. And I also have the 878, which is right here, as you can see on the side of the Baofeng um, um, UV82 there. One of my good go-to analog radios there. I love that radio. It's really nice. Um I have the 878 here, and that's, of course, um, my digital um, HT um, analog and digital radio right there. Um, it's also one of the best radios for DMR that I can find. It, um, it's been out for a little while, and uh, Bridgecom and every other um, radio um, outlet there is, um, is really praising this radio and the 578. Um what I wanted to do today was, this video is not really on those radios. It's actually on a radio that I've been using um, for a little while. And that is this little baby right here. And now that I have the 578 in my car, I'm using this one more or less like a base radio unit. Um, on high power, this thing could um, put out 25 watts. And um, it's a pretty nifty little radio um, for just analog. Um, I use it on um, a few different frequencies. Um, I uh, five uh, five two, which is the national um, call. I use it for the um, seventy centimeters and stuff like that. Now, what I wanted to go over with this radio here is. Um, what is for functionality is and how you can program this thing. Um, a lot of people really don't know how to program. One thing I realized and I've noticed over the past several months since about January when I started making my videos is that a lot of people are very interested in finding how how do you program radios. Radios um, have two functionalities when it comes to being able to program it. You can program it with the heads, the handset, which most radios do allow you to do and of course using the unit itself so it's you you can do it physically and or you can use the programming now that's where things start getting really um confusing for a lot of people and i've noticed that a lot of people watch my videos and they want to know how to program a specific radio what are the functionalities so that you can get up and running and um I say that it's good to learn how to do both, right? How to use it um, on the, the radio itself, how to program it using the radio unit itself um, with the combination of the handset and uh, um, the unit itself. <laughs> so one thing I like to do definitely is I am um, into programming radios using the software. This is so much better than, 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 you know, you can do way more by um, programming it using the software than you can just using the, um, the unit itself. Um, you have all your frequencies, you have all your channels, you can um, add, you can um, change functionalities with the buttons, all at, a, at the same time, right? You can do all of that real fast and then program it into the radio and then you don't have to go... Um, manually plug in all these things. Now, is it possible? Yes, it is very possible. Everybody knows, but it is so tedious, right? So, you know, using the software is always the greatest way to program your radio, program your frequencies and your your channels or whatever you want to do with your radio. So, the, the um, this radio is the um, Anytone Seven Seven Eight. Very good radio. So what I'm going to show now is how you will go about programming this nice little radio. Um, 
So I only have a few channels that are saved in here right now. Let's see if you can get if I can get it close enough to. So right now, I'm using a few of these frequencies. Um, some people might realize that from here all the way down to about here um, is um, the frequencies that you can see are the um, frequency allocated to um, GMRS radio frequencies. Um, this is a, uh, this is um, a club out here in New Jersey, New York, and southwestern New um, Connecticut, and um, I, this, this is actually an emergency um, um, repeater system on GMRS. So I do monitor and um, transmit on these frequencies. Um, because it is a, a emergency um, preparedness um, club, and uh, we have fire department in various jurisdictions up and down um, the Jersey coast, um, and in New York State, um, lower New Jersey. I mean New York and um, um, parts of Connecticut. So those are the frequencies I have right now that I stored. I literally just found this. Um, um, software. Um, so what I will what I was going to do is I was going to show you exactly how to find this. Um, let's go back down to the web browser. So let me get that up. So look, um, anybody and this I know it's pretty hard to find the actual software, right? So this is my this is my little um surface. I love taking it places with me. I can, you know, it's easy to use, it's full functionality. Um so what you do is go to anytone.net and to go straight to the downloads, you can see right there where where it um shows if it can clear up. So it's anytone.net forward slash download um to dot you know, you got dot HTML, I mean L. So um, you go there and it has all these different um, downloads that you can go to, as you can see. So you go down you, and right here, you would click on this and I'm, I already have it on my um, my desktop, so or in, uh, in my computer, so I'm not going to press it again because then it will load it again and then I have to take it off again <laughs> um just for um uh, video reasons I'm not you know I know some people do that but what you can do is just you just click here and most people you know if you know how to simply run a, the program from there then you'll get to here so and then always um if, if you're new or if you're not new if you're new you you um you learn that you don't um once you get the um, the software up and running, you got to go here. And if you were using a um, a laptop or something like that, you might only have one USB port. I have only one USB port on this thing, so it, well when it's when it's plugged in, it will it'll show you right there. You have to make sure that it's um, something pops up there so that it knows that it's recognizing the unit. So once you get through that, um, read from the radio. Always read from the radio. You don't want to upload um, from the um, from the software onto the radio at the very beginning because what will happen is you can run into a problem where you might wipe the the memory. I mean the information that's on the radio, and then now you got to go back into finding the software for the radio and then putting it back onto the radio. Best thing to do is read from the radio so that the software is being taken off the radio. It's put, you know, whatever's on the radio is put on to the software here. And um, then you would put, you plug in whatever you want to plug in. Um, like, you know, right here, you know, when it comes to your, 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 um, your receive, your transmit frequencies, you can um, put in the name um, of those, um, those channels um, you know, uh, wide band, narrow band information here, um, scan, you know, your transmit power, 
Um, and then you, of course, you got your tones here, um, CT, CSS, and your um, DCS and stuff like that, your digital coded. So um, all that stuff there. So after you plug in all of those um, things, then you save it to the radio. And then, you know, from there, your radio is, is up to um, and, and running. You know, it's up to the, um, it has all your information in there. So um, if you wanted to know this is for the AnyTone 778, um, this is how it, this is the newest one. It is, um, what is this? December 1st, 2020. And this is the newest. And, um, so far it works fine. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. I just programmed some of these frequencies in last night and the day before. And, um, this is how it will look. Um, i do a little test here, um, on this frequency. This is a repeater, uh, frequency. So, when I press it, I have it on um, medium power, and um, that's 15 um, watts um, coming out. So I'm going to press it now. So that is working fine. Um, I'll compress AB. This is another emergency um, frequency um, um, that we use here. So I can use that. I can go, and it will pop. So... This is um, a very good, nice radio. You can use it as a um, base station if you want. It does have a good amount of wattage coming out of there. Um, I want to get an antenna. I have an antenna outside my window over here. Um, I'm going to actually relocate that onto the roof. I am on the second floor of my uh, building here. And I did get permission from my landlord to um, put an antenna on the roof as long as it's not in the way of any, re you know, any, you know, uh, in the window uh, showing um, too much um, um, stuff on the outside of the building and stuff like that. So I told him that it's just going to be, an, a, you know, a small antenna that's going to be up there um, out of sight, out of mind. So as long as it's not um, too atro uh, obtrusive up there. He's going to be okay with that. Um, so I want to be working with that um, soon. And we have some nice weather. Um, it hasn't been really bad. We had some rain um, yesterday. But, you know, mostly we have tranquil weather um, coming up this week and next week. So hopefully I will be able to get a dipole and, and um, set up up there. I'm working with this radio club out here in New Jersey that um, a few friends over here. And um, they're working on helping me do that um, that um, antenna um, thing up here. And that's one thing that I like about being a part of the ham radio and even GMRS radio frequencies. Now, for you hams out there, um, you know, some, some of you may know about GMRS. Um, some people might not. And that's General Mobile Radio Service. And um, one thing about the General Mobile Radio Service is it, it is a licensed... Um, um, radio service that you do, you do have to uh, register yourself. It is about that when I did it a few years ago, I think about two years ago, uh, three years ago, it was, um, $70 for, um, I think up to 10 years, if I'm correct, uh, 10 years. Um, and it covers your whole family. So my daughters, or my children could be on it. Um, some friends, if I wanted to, if you wanted to do it like that, can use my call sign, um, to use a GMRS radio um, frequencies, or GMRS radios. Um, anytime you use GMRS frequencies, you have to have a license or a call sign. Um, so I would recommend you do that. It's you know you're only really giving the FCC your um, your, your your name and information, your your address, and um, paying the fee, and um, you get a FIN. You get a um, what is that? Um, um, federal, um, FCC, uh, what is it? The F F I N is, what is it? Um, federal identification number, if I'm correct. Um, you get F I N and, um, that follows you no matter where you go. So I have my ham license and, uh, I have the same F I N F I N and, um, you get a call sign for both. I have two different call signs. Um, uh, my call sign for my GMRS is, um, um, WRBQ216 and my uh, call sign of course for my ham is um, KD2TFJ so I would say do um, that GMRS is um, very useful it's on um, the the 70 centimeter band so it's up in the 440s and um, it's a very useful 
um, emergency preparedness. Um, a lot of people don't know too much about um, emergency preparedness when it comes to using radios. So these radios are very, very important in a lot of ways. Um, if you want to have emergency preparedness and get it with a club or uh, even if you're setting it up for yourself, emer emergency preparedness and emergency comms is very important, especially over the past several months. We had very bad hurricanes in the south, and, and up here we had black outages back in uh, July um, from a tropical storm that came through here in New Jersey and New York. We had blackouts everywhere. I work with the American Red Cross, so we were, you know, because of covid we had to do things differently, but it was a very, very active year when it comes to um, the fires in the West. Um, hurricane season was very active. Um, you know, uh, we had a lot of uh, severe thunderstorms and stuff like that that did some damage out here and elsewhere in the United States. So if you have emergency radio communications to the fire department, police department, other agencies, uh, um, even between you, loved ones, uh, and, and just being able to know what's going on if the power goes out. These, um, using radios is um, the very best thing to do and have. Um, you can also get FRS, which is Family Radio Service, which you don't need a, a license for. There are limitations on, on, on FRS. Um, it only uses um, uh, 0.5 uh, watts. Um, using those frequencies, but um, you're you're able to at least get some communications if to to your family if there is a power outage or uh, whatever the case is. You don't know how long power outages last, and um, sometimes using a radio like this, using um those kind of radios, um HTs. I have more HTs, but these are the ones that are up here on my desk, um, in my workstation area. So you know, I, if something happens right now, we have no power. These will be charged up and ready to go. Um, I have a radio in my car. I have, uh, you know, this radio more than likely is not going to work because of the power outages. Of course, goes. I won't have this work running, but I would be. Able, uh, I'm going to get a a, a battery set, um, a go kit um, set up so that I can actually charge both that and have this one running, 12 volts running into it, so I can uh, use it in an emergency situation. Or I could just run into my car. It, you know, have I have an extra gas. Um, tank going just in case I do it something does happen that's always a good thing to have extra gas on hand and uh, you know if I need it in a pinch I could run downstairs get my car battery set running and uh, charge up some batteries and uh, you know that's another thing that you have to learn when it comes to emergency preparedness but this is how I have my setup um, if anybody has any questions about the any tone um, 778 and uh, the HTs here, um, the Baofeng uh, UV82 and my um, 878 here, or even the 578. Uh, feel free to comment and uh, ask your questions, and I will definitely um, get back to you. Have a good day, guys. And uh, this is, once again, KD2TFJ. Uh, have a good day. 7-3.